Hello, wonderful people of this YouTube channel, YouTube internet thing channel that I like to call YouTube. We are back with another tutorial, and today is probably the most uh, memory taking tutorial on my entire channel because oh my god this I have a screen recorder open I have Cinema 4D and Adobe After Effects all on a 6 gigabyte RAM hard drive and uh, it's going to crash a lot of times so yeah I'm going to have to pause it a bunch of times um, so anyways today I'm going to be talking about uh, Maxon and Adobe's uh, pipeline which is called the Cinema 4, I think Cineware, yeah. Cineware, which is a pipeline that was built into Adobe After Effects. And basically what it allows you to do is that it allows you to take any Cinema 4D um, project and put it into Adobe After Effects. And also I'm probably going to be talking really like unclearly because I bit my tongue today and it still really hurts. Yeah. So we're going to start with this and let's hope it doesn't crash, okay? So this is a... A10 uh, Thunderbolt model that I got from uh, that I used for Breach and which is actually postponed now if you don't know already. But basically, you take you know, I have this model and uh, what I want to do is put it into a scene in After Effects. Now, before I open these and waited like an hour for them to open, I forgot to get a background plate. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have any background plate. Instead, I'm just going to um, do it on a black background because that's how pro I am. So, anyways, um, what I want to do with this is that I want to go to save. I'm actually going to save it onto my desktop instead of where it was before, just for tutorial purposes. And basically, I'm going to take this and drag it under After Effects, like like so, and then drag it into my composition. So, bam! Now you get all these settings right here. Now, if we let it load, hopefully it doesn't crash. Uh, we have the Cineware by Maxon thing. Basically, the Cineware is now its own effect. You can unclick it or whatever, uncheck it. Oh my god, it's gonna like, crash on me. Okay, so when you check it, um, right here you have your model. Now, it looks like this right now because um, it's like in this render. It's gonna, it'll fix itself when you render it. So, um, basically what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here is uh, in Cinema 4D, I'm going to take this plane, and I am going to make it move forward, like so, but I have to do that in, like, a time frame. So, um, I'm going to make it start over here, it should be over here, no, it'll be over here, and I'm going to press keyframe, go up, like, 60 frames, and make it pass by. And now I'm going to press save, go back under After Effects, and it should correct itself within a couple seconds. So now, let's see if it does this, or am I going to make another mistake? Yeah, I think I made a mistake again. But, um, it's really cool, I forgot, I did something that allowed it to render, like, in here on its own. Oh, there, never mind. It, oh, actually, it works, yeah. Let me see. Yeah. And, uh, whatever you had in here, Come back into Adobe After Effects. So that's really cool. Okay, but this doesn't come with Adobe After Effects CS6 or any of the CSs. Um, this is part of the new Adobe After Effects Creative Cloud, uh, which I just recently got. And basically, what this does is that um, CC has a lot more pro and stuff added to it. And this is one of the biggest features. And I've been waiting for this for a while because I've hate I, what I used to do was. Um, instead of using like fancy methods to just bring it in uh, like a 3D model into here, I put it on a green screen. I'd make the background of oh crap! Oh no, I'm gonna crash. Oh crap! Okay. Um, I'm sorry about that. Um, normally what I do is that I make the background of Cinema 4D green and then export it as a video and it'll be a green screen just key it out in here but now I have an easier way to do it now the only thing I've had troubles with with this software is um, is the actual what do you call it like helicopters because even in Cinema 4D alone I really don't know how to make the propeller turn while it's mo the helicopter is moving but you know I fixed that in Breach, and it looked pretty crappy, but it's okay, because it's just starting point for this. So, anyways, um, 
this is our composition now. We can go ahead and render it if we want. I'm probably going to add some effects here, like, crap, um, let's see what we have. Oh, look, Cinema 40. Let's add Cinema No, it's not. Um, I'm going to add some color correction, but I guess it won't work if there's no color. Uh, let's go into, hmm, what else? Oh, simulation, yes. Snowfall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Um, actually, I'm not going to put it there. I want to make everything solid. And then, yeah. Where is it? Um, simulation. Snowfall. Let's see how this works. Oh, that did not work. Hmm. Meh. I don't really know what to do. Uh, anyways, yeah, so you can bring your footage in. I'm sure there's a way for you to use uh, Cineware to make it show up in the here in here. Uh, let's see. Oh wow. <clears throat> yeah. So. Um, uh, oh, hey, what do you know? I got it. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played around with this that much. No pre-calculation. What does that do? I don't want to. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess this is how you do it. Um, I'm not gonna need this, but yeah. So this is a really, really, really useful tool now. I've recently started playing around with it. Now, like with this, I can add a sky in the background in um, Cinema 4D. I can add smoke and clouds in front of it. And if I want to blow it up, I can use Jet Strike. Uh, like I can use Vehicle Pilot's Jet Strike and like make an explosion on the back of the engine or something. Uh, really, the possibilities for this are endless. It's just one thing I recommend not doing is putting is using helicopters well that's been a bad choice for me i'm sure some of you can make it work but this has been a really cool tool for using and i think it's going to really help everyone out a ton really like this is i think one of the best features they added ever other than actually yeah yeah it's the best uh so yeah that's basically it guys uh i don't know what do you say after these videos like, comment, subscribe, I don't know, you don't have to comment, like, or subscribe if you want to, if you can, I recommend it highly, yeah, um, but yeah, anyways, I'm probably going to bring out tutorials using Jet Strike, instead, like, just the, uh, footage from Jet Strike, instead of using Element 4D, Element, sorry, Element 3D, because Element 3D does not get support on my computer, because apparently my graphics card sucks, so, it doesn't matter, I'm going to use their effects, even though I got programmed and never got to use it. I have to return it. Uh, I don't know if you can return it. Uh, anyways, I'm going to see you guys later. I'm hoping to get a video up every Friday. A um, couple things. Also, um, Breach is going to now be released February 2nd. And also, there's a contest coming up soon. So if you want to join that or if you want to hear about it, you have to go on my website at visionfilms.com slash... News One, I believe, is the page, which is my blog, and I'll leave a link on the screen right now. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's it. See you all soon. I have exams to study for. This has been a good 10-minute break. See you guys soon. Peace.